Today, we're gonna to be diving into the world of color grading with Film Convert Nitrate. If you are looking to give your videos that cinematic touch, then this just might be the tool for you. But before we get into the software and the review, let's just talk about what color grading is. Color grading is the process of adjusting the colors and tones in your video footage to give it a specific style, mood, or atmosphere. It's a crucial step in post-production that will help your content stand out and tell a more compelling story. Now let's jump straight into the software. So here we are in Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna open Form Convert Nitrate. Okay, so this is the user interface going down from top to bottom. You have your camera settings, exposure control, full stock, of which you have a wide variety, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19 different options. Um, your grain, you can change your grain strength and saturation. You can also choose a preset. I generally stick with um, Super 35 because that's kind of matching my camera. You've got full control over where the grain would be shown up the most. Um, you have, again, some very, very good um, color grading tools as you would in, in your normal sort of software, which you can play around and change all of that. You have a curves adjustments and levels adjustment. Okay, so enough talk. Let's actually get into some color grading. Okay, so this is our clip. I've dropped on a adjustment layer in the timeline. Is your camera make Sony FX30 and the log profile that you shot in. So straight away you get something. I'm not particularly happy with that. Let's choose another Camera profile, that's okay. Let's just go through them and see what we kind of like. I kind of like that, that looks pretty good. That looks even better. No, a little bit green. I don't mind that. Okay, so that's some black and white, that looks great. Just uh, experimenting with, I mean, that looks really, really interesting straight out the gates. Let's go with that one. Okay, so I'm going to leave grain strength. I'm going to change this to Super 35. What I am going to do is maybe push up my temperature. And what's really nice is it doesn't make it look strange. It looks pretty good. Um, maybe pull down the exposure slightly. And let's push up our saturation. Something to there, maybe like something like that. That's starting to look great. Okay, I don't think I would do much more than that with this clip. And just to show you a little before and after what this looks like. So, I mean, that is very, very simple. Let's move into the next clip. Again, starting from the top. Sony. FX30. Make sure it's clicked on. And that looks pretty good. I kind of like that. I mean, you could just leave it as is. Let's choose another one. Let's choose... What is it? Kodak Portra. That's pretty cool. Okay, so my computer is having a little bit of a lag. There we go. But that really gives it an authentic, authentic form feel without doing anything. Obviously, you could still play around, maybe change the strength a little bit. And you've got the mix up on this side. So you could sort of feather that down a little bit. Okay, our last clip. This was shot near to sunset. Let's not make the same mistake again. Sony. I mean, I guess you could play around and choose other camera profiles just to see what that would look like. That's looking great. Okay, so, I mean, I do kind of like that. Also nice. Maybe that one. Uh, yeah, let's stick with 
that. I think that looks really nice. And let's pull down the exposure a little bit. Let's really push that temperature slider. So then that, that is looking great. Change our grain to Super 35. I'm not gonna adjust anything here. Um, let's see the highlights if we can warm it up a little bit. Maybe something like that. There we go, mid-tones we can pull down. Okay. That looks beautiful. In conclusion, that is my review of Film Convert Nitrate. If you have used the software, let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you guys do differently. If there's any other software that you are using that you think is better, I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.